Thank you for watching this video. Today we will be doing technical analysis on the S&P 500 for the week ending Friday, October 15th, 2021. And for this analysis, we will be using StockCharts.com. That is the charting service that I use and pay for, and I will leave a link to their site in the description box below this video. My name is Rodney Constable. I have over 30 years of investing experience, including over 25 years of experience trading stocks and options. I am a former financial advisor, a former vice president of a major mutual fund company, and I am the developer and president of Simple Market Signals at SimpleMarketSignals.com. We will come back to this chart in just a couple of minutes, but I want to start off with a weekly chart of the S&P 500 so we can get a good perspective as to what has happened for the week. This uh, chart here goes back to September of 2020, so we have just a little over one year of data. And again, each candlestick on this chart does represent one week of trading. The simple moving averages, the green line is the 10-week, the orange line is the 20-week, and the blue line here, this one is the 40-week moving average. And what we can see here is that the S&P 500 was up 1.82% this week, and we closed at 44.7137, and uh, we closed above the 10-week moving average for the first time in about a month. So uh, pretty nice week here on the S&P 500, and uh, not on huge volume, but uh, overall decent week. We'll just have to see, of course, next week if, uh, if we can hold these gains, but so far so good. The next chart that we're going to look at is an hourly candlestick chart of the S&P 500 that uh, starts on September 23rd. Now, you may remember this chart from last week, but I wanted to capitalize on this because this inverted head and shoulders pattern that the S&P 500 formed on the hourly charts, you can really see it nicely on these hourly charts, but this inverted head and shoulders and the neckline here, this is the first part of October, and that set us up for a really nice run up to the 4430 overhead resistance line that has been a factor for several months now, and we'll take a look at that here in just a second on a, on a longer-term chart. But on October 7th, you can see we got right up to and just stopped right on that 4430 line and then pulled back away from that for several days. But yesterday, on the 14th of October, we had some really nice volume and shot up through and finally had some trading above 4430 for the first time since the 27th of uh, September here, as you can see. So this was super important. And then the fact that we pushed higher today, up 71 basis points uh, on Friday alone, on Friday the 15th here, um, you know, this this potentially, guys, is, is really good news. So again, we'll have to see if we can get some follow through next week. But the fact that we have had trading above 4430 uh, and, you know, again, first hourly candle that has closed above 4430 since clear back on the 27th of September. Really nice, solid volume on Thursday the 14th that pushed us above that level. And then we went higher again today on the 15th. So from a technical standpoint, this all looks really, really encouraging, at least in the short term. The next chart that we're going to look at is also an hourly candlestick chart of the S&P 500. But now we're going to take it back to the first part of July. Not going to go through everything in this chart, but I just want to point out a couple of things. First off, this blue line right here, okay, the lower of these two that are real close, that's the 4430 level. And you can see the 4430 level has been in play since the latter part of July. We got right up to the 4430 level on the S&P 500 right here, got rejected, finally got above it here first part of August, and uh, it's, it's really been a factor, okay? And then, of course, we you know came up to it and stopped right on that thing uh, here a few days ago in October, just like we did in uh, the latter part of July. We pulled back and then took another run and finally got above it yesterday on the 14th and then uh, traded above 44.40, the uh, upper line right here, which has also been super important, but traded above 44.40 for the first time in uh, quite a while, right? Clear back here in September. So the fact that we've had a full day of trading above 44.40 that has followed the head and shoulders reversal pattern that we saw here uh, over the last couple of weeks, 
and then the pullback to just below the 4350 level after being rejected at 4430. All of this is really, I think, at least in the short term, uh, quite bullish from a technical standpoint. So the market is at least trying to gain its footing. Now, the other thing that I think is quite interesting is, you know, starting back on the 2nd of September, when we hit what is right now the all-time intraday high at 45, 45.85, that set up a series of lower highs, right, as we can see here, one, two, three, lower, actually four if you include this one, but, you know, we had these lower highs. Well, we have now broken that to the upside, okay? So this downtrend over the last couple of days has been broken, and again, you can see this trading, right, above the 4440 level, and let me just uh, zoom in here. I'm just going to make this, eh, let's make this like a, uh, a five-day chart real quick, okay, so just bear with me here. And so we can see, guys, uh, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of trading above 4440, uh, just today on the 15th of October. So, you know, that's all we've had. Um, you know, it's great news, but, you know, we could easily roll back over next week. So let's not get, you know, too excited just yet. But the fact that we have broken this downtrend, we had some really nice volume here on the 14th. Uh, our first trading above 44.30 since clear back on September 27th. Uh, we've had a full day of trading above 44.40. So all of that right now uh, appears to be pretty pretty positive. So, uh, you know, the thing next week, right, to watch is can we stay? Can we continue to trade on an hourly as well as daily closing basis above this 44.40 level? If so, it looks like the worst of this downturn may be behind us. However, you know, um, if anything causes us to roll back over and start to uh, to trade below 44.30, you can see just how important, especially if we go back to this chart that goes clear back to the beginning of July, you can see just how important this 44.30 level has been. So if we uh, if we once again roll over and start to trade below 44.30, at least in the short term, that will be uh, that you know. That'll show some weakness, right? So we just have to uh, to really watch that level. But as long as we stay above 4440, um, you know, the markets may continue to, uh, to push higher. Let me ask you a few questions. Do you manage any of your own money, including in your 401k or your IRA? Have you ever found yourself out of sync with the market, underexposed when the market is rising, or overexposed when the market is declining? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Please pay close attention to the balance of this video because it could be worth a lot of money to you going forward. Do you have a stock market risk management and trend direction system in place? Do you know the various risk levels in the stock market on an ongoing basis? Do you know when it's safest to be in equities? Do you know when it's most dangerous to be in equities? Do you know the direction of the trend of the stock market? My system is Simple Market Signals. Simple Market Signals is market-based. There's no opinions, forecast, or guesswork in Simple Market Signals. It took me over 20 years to develop Simple Market Signals. I developed Simple Market Signals by reverse engineering the stock market, and I studied the stock market over numerous time frames, including numerous bull and bear markets. And what I found is that certain conditions exist during various market phases. And then I created simple, easy to understand signals around these different phases of the markets. And the thing is, guys, that most people don't know about or have access to the data necessary to do the research that I had to do to create this model. Simple Market Signals is a proprietary stock market risk management and trend direction model. And Simple Market Signals is perfect for financial professionals and individual investors. There's two major components to the proprietary model. There's a risk level signal and there's the general trend indicator. Let's start off with the risk signals. The risk signals are simply green, yellow, and red. The green signal has the lowest equity risk associated with it. And what you're going to find is that most all upward progress in the stock market will be made in a green signal environment. Said another way, it is hard to make money in equities unless the signal is green. 
The yellow signal means there's moderate equity risk. And sideways to slightly up or down price action is very common during a yellow signal environment. The red signal has the highest equity risk, and the worst sell-offs, including bear markets, will happen when the signal is red. A quick review of the risk signals. The green signal is the best risk-reward ratio signal for equity investors, and what you're going to find is that most upward progress in the stock market will happen in a green signal environment, as we see here. The red signal is the worst risk-reward ratio signal for equity investors. And what you're going to find is that the worst downturns, including the downturn in Q4 of 18 and the bear market in Q1 of 2020, plus the bear market from 2000 through 03 and the bear market of 07 through 09, all of those are going to take place in a red signal environment. Now let's put it all together and see how simple market signals could have helped you during the fastest bear market in history, which of course happened during Q1 of 2020. We had a strong stock market coming into 2020, so the risk signal was green coming into 2020 and remained green for the majority of January. We did have a yellow signal for about two weeks towards the latter part of January, first part of February. And then, of course, the risk signal went back to green. And then on February 19th, we hit what was at that time the all-time high on the S&P 500. Again, that's February 19th. And then things started to unravel from there. But think about this. Just a few days after the all-time high at that time in the S&P 500, on Monday, February 24th, the risk signal went yellow. And then on Tuesday, the 25th of February, the general trend indicator went negative. And that general trend indicator had been positive since October of 19. Okay, So right there, just a few days after the all-time high in the S&P 500, the risk signals started to tell you that something was changing, that there was increasing risk in the stock market. And by Thursday, February 27th, the risk signal was red. And then, of course, the market sold off hard from there. So think about this, guys. I mean, you talk about stress testing my model. During the fastest bear market in history just you know, that started just a few days after the all-time high at that time, the all-time high in the S&P 500, in one week, the risk signal went yellow, the trend indicator went negative, and then the risk signal went red all in the same calendar week, actually within four days, right? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So you talk about stress testing my model. Guys, I mean, this is the fastest bear market in history. And look at how simple market signals could have helped you during that time. With simple market signals, you will know what the risk level is and what the trend direction is in the overall U.S. stock market. And the proprietary model is based on S&P 500 data. The S&P 500 index really is the best proxy for the overall U.S. stock market. And it's the only index that has all of the data available that I need to run the model. And guys, it's not about beating the S&P 500. However, that is a possible outcome over time if the tools within the model are employed properly. It's about risk management and risk control. It's about controlling your risk exposure rather than letting the whims of the market dictate your future. The best fit for simple market signals is an investor or a financial professional with at least a six to eight week plus time frame that they're focusing on. If you're a shorter term trader or a day trader, simple market signals may help you a little bit, but the reality is that the best fit between simple market signals and a subscriber is somebody that has at least a six to eight week time frame or more that they're focusing on. These signals are delivered to subscribers in our weekly emailed newsletter. As part of the Simple Market Signals weekly newsletter, you will receive the proprietary risk level signal and charts on the overall U.S. stock market. You will also receive the general trend indicator signal and charts on the overall U.S. stock market. You will also receive a weekly recap of what happened in the U.S. stock market, including performance information and charts. And this is on multiple investments. So we cover small caps, mid caps, large caps. So you'll have a great idea of what's going on in the entire U.S. stock market across all capitalization. 
You will also receive technical analysis data and charts, so things that are interesting and educational that I think is important for you guys to know will be included in the newsletter on a weekly basis. You will also receive fundamental analysis data points on the S&P 500, so we look at potential earnings per share for the year, as well as the possible P.E. ratios and then price levels looking out to the end of this year, and then I generally go out to the end of the next year as well. So you'll have great fundamental analysis data to work with on the S&P 500 right at your fingertips every single week. You will also receive yield curve information and data points. So we look at the the twos and the tens. So the two-year treasury note, the 10-year treasury note, and then the spread, the differential between the twos and the tens. This information, guys, very few people know about it. Very few people watch this. This is so important to really get your head wrapped around because it affects so many areas of the financial markets. And you will also receive the proprietary risk level signals on all 11 major sectors of the S&P 500. So not only do you get the risk level signal on the overall market, but we also give you the risk level signal on all 11 major sectors of the S&P 500. So you can see what the risk level is underneath the hood on all of the individual sectors. And you will also receive sector performance information on all 11 major sectors of the S&P 500 over multiple time frames. So guys, you're going to get all of this, right? And it's going to make you so much more knowledgeable about the financial markets. You're going to be able to have a conversation with virtually anybody about the stock market. And you're going to be able to really understand things at a level that very few people do. And guys, you're going to get all of this for just $19.95 per month. That's less than $0.67 cents per day. I want to set realistic expectations. The weekly emailed newsletter isn't fancy. It's effective. It's plain text, no color, other than the charts, of course, and no fluff. But it's chock full of extremely valuable information week after week. Now let me share with you what subscribers are saying about Simple Market Signals. First, we are going to hear from KT from Michigan. I have been trading for many years. I did not realize that I have been trading in a completely blind fashion. SMS has given me the direction, literally, I've been desperately needing. This service allows you to clearly see what the market is doing. If you are remotely serious about trading or investing, you must try this service. Again, that's from KT from Michigan. KT, thank you. I appreciate that feedback. Next, we're going to hear from Rich A. from Ohio. Hi, Rodney. I want to thank you for creating Simple Market Signals and making it available to the average investor like myself. I work hard for the money that I invest, and I want to try to get the best return for my investment. Like a lot of people, though, I just don't have the time to watch the markets closely, and I've been blindsided a few times in the past by market moves I didn't see coming. Needless to say, if I could have avoided those downturns, I would be much further ahead financially. This is where Simple Market Signals comes in. It takes complex market data and distills it down into an easy-to-use tool that anyone can use to see where the markets have been and are likely to go. It is sort of like a barometer that a weather forecaster uses, only easier to use. I like the fact that I get weekly updates from Simple Market Signals and also get updates anytime there are important changes in the markets. Your emails are succinct and to the point, and the signals are easy to understand. Depending on how much time I have, I can quickly scan the main points that Simple Market Signals gives me or do a deeper dive and read about the various market sectors and their performance outlook. Either way, I get the timely and important information I need. Thank you again for doing this and keep up the good work. Again, that's from Rich A. from Ohio. Rich, thank you so much for the feedback. I really appreciate that. Next, we're going to hear from SC from Florida. And SC writes, I manage my own money and I am not a professional, which could lead to a disastrous outcome as it has for many. Simple Market Signals is the equivalent of having a personal money manager that keeps you invested when it counts and alerts you to the potential dangers ahead. Now, I want to point out here, guys, I am, you know, I used to be a money manager. I sold my practice in 2016. So these these are the exact words that uh, SC from Florida wrote to me. So I just printed it as is. But I want you to understand, I do I cannot give advice 
but this is the feedback that SC from Florida uh, gave me, so I appreciate this. Uh, so again, SC writes that uh, you know simple market signals helps you keep helps you stay invested when it counts and alerts you to the potential dangers ahead. The service is extremely affordable and takes the uncertainty and fear out of being in control of your own investments. I have done very well using this system and consider myself lucky that Rodney's YouTube channel came into view one day. I highly recommend this to anyone who desires an easy system to produce positive returns in the markets. Again, that's from SC from Florida, sent from his iPad. And guys, I want to point out the reason I'm using just the first and last initials is for the security of my subscribers, okay? I have hedge fund managers, uh, very well off, multi, multi millionaire clients. Um, I have, you know, people that are high up in various areas of the government. Uh, I have uh, people from all walks of life. So just out of respect and security for my clients. Uh, this is the way that I'm presenting the information just with their first and last initials as well as their state. Next, we're going to hear from F.S. from Massachusetts. Rodney is spot on in his reading of the markets. I was looking for a heads up to help me choose which side to use for vertical spreads. Again, that's from F.S. from uh, Mass. And thank you so much, F.S. I appreciate that. Next, we're going to hear from JV from New York. Now, I posed a few questions to my subscribers uh, a few weeks ago, and this is the feedback exactly that uh, JV from New York gave me with respect to the question. So I, uh, I produced it just as he wrote it. So the first question, what do you like best about simple market signals? What JV said was, one of the things I like best about simple market signals is that I have an easy to use tool at my disposal. I use the green, yellow, and red signals along with the general trend to help me determine how much equity risk exposure I want my investments to have in the market at any one time. I will either increase or decrease my equity exposure based on those metrics. The next question, what is important about simple market signals to you? JV writes, I am a conservative investor. My main goal is to preserve as much capital as possible during market downturns, yellow and red signals, and to optimize my returns during green light conditions. The next question, how has simple market signals helped you? JV writes, SMS helps me to determine whether to stay the course, increase equity exposure, or take defensive positions. For example, I will add additional funds to my equity investments during green conditions and move money to cash during red conditions. And the last question, how have you benefited from simple market signals? JV writes, one of the benefits of SMS is that it has reduced the stress from always looking at and analyzing market conditions and worrying about it on a daily basis. And again, this is from JV from New York. JV, thank you so much for the feedback. I really appreciate that. And please note, due to international compliance regulations, you must be at least 18 years old and a citizen of the United States of America who is currently living in the U.S. in order to subscribe to Simple Market Signals. And again, this is just due to international compliance regulations. A subscription to Simple Market Signals is just $19.95 per month. It's billed monthly on your credit card. There are no contracts. You can cancel any time. And your first two weeks are free. Sign up is quick and easy. Just go to simplemarketsignals.com. That's HTTPS colon two forward slashes simplemarketsignals.com. It'll take you about four or five minutes to subscribe. It's that easy. Once you reach the website, the first thing you will need to do is accept the cookies. Please notice that due to international compliance regulations, you must be at least 18 years old and a citizen of the United States of America who is currently living in the U.S. in order to use this website or our services. And that is just due to international compliance regulations. All right, so to get started, all you have to do is click this green button, and that will take you to the product page in this explains, of course, uh, what you get with your subscription. And then just make sure that that says one, because if there's more than one in there, if you have a two or a three, you'll get multiple subscriptions to the service and you only need one. Click the sign up now button and that will take you to the checkout page. Once you're on the checkout page, fill in the necessary information, anything 
that is required, including the email address. Keep in mind that this is an email newsletter, so we will have to have your best email address on file. And make sure this box is checked because that's how your email address gets into the system. So if that is unchecked, your email won't get transferred into the Simple Market Signals system and you won't get your newsletters. So please make sure that box is checked. And then, of course, uh, just double check, make sure that your monthly total is going to be nineteen ninety five a month. Remember that your first two weeks are free, so your first renewal date will be two weeks after your subscription date. Fill in your credit card information. You will need to accept the privacy policy and check that box that uh, says you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Click the Sign Up Now button, and it's that easy, guys. It's probably going to take you maybe four or five minutes total to fill in everything and subscribe to Simple Market Signals. A few points to remember with respect to your subscription to Simple Market Signals. Remember that everything is tied to your email on file. Now, once you subscribe, you will get an immediate emailed confirmation of your subscription. You will also receive an automatic welcome letter, so that's automatically generated from our system. And whether you see that welcome letter or not, I would encourage you to double check your spam, junk, trash, and promotion folders, especially for the first several weeks of subscription, because once in a while, our emails get automatically routed into one of those different folders, depending on your email service provider, whether it's you know Gmail, Yahoo, whatever it may be. Uh, and I would get in the habit, I would encourage you to get in the habit of every week or two, you know, just go out real quick and double check these different folders, the spam, junk, trash, and promotion folders, because I can't even tell you how many times I've had people say, well, I didn't get the email, and then when I tell them to go out and check those various folders, oh, there it is. So uh, it's just you know the reality of, of uh, having an emailed service that once in a while, and it's going to vary from email service provider to email service provider, but once in a while, the uh, emails from us, depending on the subject line and other things, will get automatically routed into one of those different folders. Also, I would encourage you to whitelist all emails from Simple Market Signals. In other words, just you know, make sure that your email service knows that you want all Simple Market Signals emails to go to your primary in-basket. Also remember that newsletters go out on the weekend. Okay, They generally go out Saturday afternoons, but they could go out any time over the weekend depending on our production schedule. And the next new edition will be sent to you on the weekend following your subscription. So if you subscribe on a, you know, a, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it is, the next new edition is going to come out on that weekend following your subscription. But we will also send you the latest edition. So whatever the most recent edition of our newsletter was, we'll send you that latest edition as soon as we can, but we have to manually send that to you. Generally, you will receive that within 24 to 48 hours of your subscription. So again, if you don't see that first newsletter within 24 to 48 hours, go back and double check your spam, junk, trash, and promotion folders uh, to make sure that it's not hidden in there. Also, within that first 24 to 48 hours, we're going to send you uh, at least one or two emails with links to training videos that are for subscribers only. So please make sure that you're looking at all of this because it's extremely important for you to get the most out of your subscription, please watch those, uh, those videos that are part of the training material that we send you. Now let's recap what you will get with your Simple Market Signals subscription. With your subscription, you will receive the weekly emailed newsletter, which goes out on the weekends, that will include all of the content that we just talked about, plus you will receive midweek update emails when warranted. So if there's a major signal or trend direction change in the middle of the week, we're not going to wait until the weekend to get you that information. We're going to send a midweek update email to get you that information as soon as possible. So again, a subscription to Simple Market Signals is just $19.95 per month. That's less than $0.67 cents a day. It's billed monthly on your credit card. There are no contracts. You can cancel any time and your first two weeks are free. To get started, just go to https colon two forward slashes simplemarketsignals.com.